We got it. Let's try it. <laughs> we got it. Let's try it. Let's run it one through ten. Her whole yeah. leg up in it though. All right, y'all. We out here with Sugar. Okay. Hey everyone, it's your girl Receipts with Rail. Welcome back to my channel. Now make sure y'all go get your water of choice. Go grab your wine, your tea, your sweet tea, coffee, or whatever it is that you need because you in for a treat. Today's about to get real interesting. Now I had the opportunity to interview Sherelle Hodges. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen her in connection with the Keith Lee fiasco here in Dallas. So I made it my business to interview her because I wanted to get the inside scoop. For those of y'all who are unfamiliar of what I'm talking about, because I realize a lot of y'all may not be on TikTok, but long, long, long story short, Keith Lee is a food reviewer who goes around the country, city to city, interviewing different restaurants. Well, not interviewing, but reviewing different restaurants. Now, there's a particular restaurant that he reviewed called Sweetly Seasoned, and I think she's since changed her name. Yeah, y'all, she changed her name within 24 hours um, to, I think, um, something catering. But anyway, Keith Lee, he normally leaves tips at restaurants, and he left this woman a $4,000 tip. Long story short, she did not evenly distribute the tip the way that Keith Lee intended. Keith Lee specifically told her to leave the tip with um, $1,000 with the barber and $1,000 with the braider. She did not do that. So since then, um, her business is pretty much done. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Hi, everyone. I am Sherelle Hodges, and I'm here with Now, ma'am, you just sat up here on Beyonce's internet and played in everybody's face. And now, 48 hours after the backlash, you want to try to give the money back. And you expect the person that you're beefing with to come pick the money up? Hell, I wouldn't come pick the money up either. But anyway, that's not really what I'm here to talk about today because I already did a video on her. Today, I'm here to talk about another restaurant called Season Street Food, okay? Now, for some reason, y'all good old folk over at TikTok and YouTube, y'all got Season Street Food mixed up with Sweetly Season. <laughs> so y'all done went to these poor people business and y'all done bashed them, gave them one-star reviews, and the owner of the restaurant spoke out. Keith Lee. Sweetly seasoned food truck review sparks backlash against the wrong restaurant. I'm a little spicy here today, all right? I'm coming at you from seasoned street food a little spicy today because of the saga that we have going on. Uh, apparently, Keith Lee, who is, uh, you know, an ex, I think, MMA fighter turned food blogger, um, reviewed Sweetly Seasoned, which is a food truck in Fort Worth. We own seasoned street food in Dallas, and y'all are coming at us hard. You guys are blowing up my husband's phone. You guys are sending us nasty emails. You have gone on the internet, and you have blown up our reviews to negative nothing nilly Nancy, okay? Now, that's between you and God, honey. You guys are all out there willy-nilly in front of God and everybody just blogging on the internet, reviewing businesses that have nothing to do with what we're even talking about here, guys. This is supposed to be increasing small businesses, and thank you. 
Thank you. This has nothing to do with Keith Lee, by the way. Y'all need to get your facts straight. Get your facts straight. All right. This is seasoned street food. We are not sweetly seasoned, my dear. Please stop sending me emails telling me that I am trash and that I should be ashamed of myself because I'm not. All right. I have nothing to do with this. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. So after that whole mix up, that's crazy y'all. But after all of that, um, Sherelle Hodges decided to reach out to the owners of Sweetly Season to apologize and try to make it right because she felt that it was her fault because it, this situation really didn't have a whole lot to do with Keith Lee. It did, but it didn't. The reason why things got so messy is because um, Sherelle took it to um, TikTok to let everybody know that the owner of Sweetly Season never paid her and her brother the money. So Sherelle felt like she wanted to rectify the situation with this other restaurant owner because it was like they was innocent bystanders who got hit in the crossfire. So she went on live to say that she is going to go up to this place. She's going to be there all day, all night. They're going to be, um, you know, eating and supporting the business. And I saw her on live. So I was like, OK, I'm about to pull up. of season street food y'all yes. and we thank here. you guys for your support yes we're here in dallas texas you guys so y'all come on down and support um i came out here because so we're located at the commerce sport food company they're located at the commerce sport commerce sport food company in dallas it's a ghost land so um we have several concepts that come out of here if you're listening to it, like from doordash you things like that yeah uh, our italian concepts are ready for you to do that okay uh, so tuscan slice express is our um, concept out of here mm -hmm. and um, where you can find sephori di pasta we also have a gluten-free pasta concept called gluten free gusto. Oh gluten free yeah. gusto. Okay, okay. That sounds yeah. nice. And now when I when I was watching her live I saw something about um vegan. Um do you guys have vegan yeah. options? We have all kinds of vegan options. Oh wow. Yeah. See I've, I've never had I've never been to a restaurant. Hey can I yeah. I've never been to a rest uh, vegan restaurant. That's the beauty about like any you know, dietary preference yeah. or restriction, we can always customize a menu based on those needs, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, a lot of things, people, like I know there's a lot of people that have gluten-free, yeah. um, you know, dietary restrictions, so there's always things that we can do, even in the Italian girl world, right? Like with our gluten-free yeah. concepts, that we can do to kind of help make sure people get, like, delicious food, even though they have yeah. to be, Even though they have, like, certain ass. I, I really yeah. love this. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, it smells amazing out here. Thank so, you. Yeah. 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 All right, y'all, we out here with Sherelle. Gang, gang. Sherelle, can you tell the people a little bit about yourself and what you do? I'm a real nigga. No, I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> real last bitch, give a fuck by the nigga. <laughs> oh, my no. name is Sherelle. Uh, I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas. Uh, went to school in the country, you know, came back. Um, I'm a two-time self-published author. I uh, I have my own clothing line, my own t-shirt company. I have my editing company. I do social media. Like, I'm all over the place. Oh, you do um, it all. Okay. I'm a mother of four, two girls, two boys. Uh, Alex and Jay Lee, they're over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a bunch of other people that to me, but um, I don't know their names right now. That's besides the point. Uh, what else did you say? I'm sorry. Um, so, tell the people why we out here. Um, so we had an incident where I was promoting using my platform for uh, another food company and let's just say things didn't go well and now I'm out here because they were negatively this company Street Southern hold on what's this company called again um street season street food season street food was yeah. negatively impacted by an incident that I had with another company okay so as my way of saying thank you or we're sorry, yeah. me and my 400,000 friends, 
I came out here to help them raise money, bring support. awareness, and support a small business. Yeah, and we out here, y'all. We out here. We enjoying. The food was good. <laughs> well, I appreciate you, and I thank you so much for inviting us. Of course. Because, honestly, the food was amazing. And I'm going to tell you something. I was trying to tell you. I got a picky eater, so if she says it's good, then it's, it's good. good. Yeah. Yes, yes. I like that. I like that. So, yeah, um, I got the, um, I'm on TikTok. I'm Receipts with Real. We got the same name. And let me tell you something. I did a YouTube video about the Ashley Grayson situation, uh -huh. and you commented on my video. Really? Yeah, you told you told me I had the facts straight too. Oh wait, what's the name of your channel? Um, it's called Receipts with Real. Receipts with Real. Receipts. I'm to remember. I don't know okay, so it was people in the comments who had the info wrong, and you told them they had the info wrong, but you said I got it right. Yep. Yep. You remember I remember. That? Yep. Okay, I okay. do remember. Yep. Look at you. Yep. Yep. So we we out here. We came from Plano. So. Turn up. I'm yep. glad you came. Yeah. I like. Oh, okay. He got just some money on it. Everything. Okay, yeah. All right, y'all. It's receipts with Braille. And I have Cortez here. I know everybody know who he is. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you? First of all, I don't know who I am. Okay. Don't know who I am. 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 Don't know I stand on business for a no, no, Let me let me look at him. Y'all know um, the first place I saw him. Um, he was doing some videos with my cousin Takia Calhoun. Now I know y'all know Benson Takia. I know y'all seen that prank where they went viral for the um the beat up prank. Yeah, yeah, that's the first place that I saw him. Yeah, y'all, man. Oh, my YouTube channel uh, is QTZ. It's QT double E Z Y, and then my Instagram. Is and you got on the wild and out. Tell them about. Oh that yeah, too. my wild and out. So look, um, I made a, a deal with Nick Cannon. If I got twenty thousand likes on this video, right? And guess what? The video actually got over twenty thousand likes. So now I'm just waiting on the actual day of the audition, but it's definitely coming though. So it's definitely yeah, that's coming. Why I, See the merch. Y'all see the come on. Y'all see the merch, and if you don't know, now you know, nigga. He lit. I, I love his channel. I definitely love it. So, um, can you tell us what you thought about the food? What I thought about the food? Mm -hmm. It was too good. Yeah. Oh my! Like the food. You would have. Okay. Y'all know how usually they say like black people be having the best food. These people not black, but the food <laughs> tastes like a black person cooked it. Like the arm of a lady that can throw down and keep like you, it tastes like the lady who cooked it had that fat right there. That fat right there That's, under the arm, that elbow fat. Yeah, that I'm uh, trying to get rid of. Put her whole yeah. leg up in it though, but the food is good though. And if y'all if y'all ever in Dallas, uh, y'all really need to hit them up and really come come through because it's not every day that people come together and support a business like this though. So if y'all in Dallas, man, just just come on, just just come out and. Eat some good food. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I, comple good, I completely agree with that. It's a taste tester, y'all. Okay, all right. We got it. Let's try it. Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> we got it. Let's try it. Let's run it. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> y'all, he's so silly. Did you just bite me? <laughs> Let me tell y'all, this is... <laughs> Bro, oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh, this, let me try the other one, let me try the other one right quick, oh, hold on. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, Is it so good that it make you want to slap it, your granny? It make me want to slap my mama. Mom, Ooh, come nah, here. See, I said granny because mama here. You can't be saying that. <laughs> I said, is it so good that it make you want to slap your granny? Oh, and he you said, slap you better not slap me. <laughs> That's why I said granny. He said, no, it make me want to slap my mama, but this good though. As y'all can see, the turnout was amazing. I have to say, I'm really glad that I got out and I did this yesterday because I had a great time. I had a wonderful time. The food was so good. Now, y'all know I wouldn't lie to y'all like this especially on Black History Month. I'm not about to be lying on Black History Month saying that people's food is good when it's not. It was good. It was the bomb. Like, first of all, let me tell y'all something. They had so many different types of tacos, and but they had barbacoa tacos. Um, 
steak tacos and quesadillas and every single last taco was better than the than the last one just when you thought it couldn't get no better it was better uh this is not no paid promo y'all i'm a solo channel i do this on my own so whatever i say it's coming from the heart and the thing about it is i haven't had no good food besides mine in a long time because y'all know i'm a chef I, I cooks it up but dallas is not known for the food scene like if we being all the way real dallas is not known for the food scene you know, a lot of places I've been to in Dallas, I've been highly disappointed. Let me give y'all a quick disclaimer. Dallas is known, like, for the luxury aesthetic of things. If you're looking to go to a nice restaurant um, that looks beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, you want to take a few selfies, and you want to pamper yourself, and you just want to feel, you know what I'm saying? You want to feel like you're going to a top-tier place. Okay, Dallas can give you that. But when it comes to how the food actually tastes, it be lacking. It be lacking. I'm not even from the front. I learned my lesson about going to the popular, bougie places. I learned my lesson. If you want good food in Dallas, you need to hit up the small businesses, the food trucks, especially the food trucks, the mom and pop shops, and pretty much the places that nobody else has heard of. Um... I didn't realize I was going to be in for this much of a treat today. My kids tried the food. They had so much food, they ate till they, stu till their stomachs hurt. Me, on the other hand, I didn't get to eat as much as I want because I was too busy trying to interview and have my phone out. <sighs> I wish I could go back. And to top it off, they gave all that food away for free. So between myself and the rest of Sherelle's followers, I'm not sure how many followers she has, but... I think she said um, across all platforms, I want to say it was 400000 I could be wrong. But um, Sherelle's followers ended up raising over $4,500 for this business. That's what I call standing on business, y'all. The beautiful things that can happen when we come together. Like, I thought that was just such an amazing experience to be a part of. Um, so if you're in the Dallas area, y'all make sure y'all show this business some love. Um, as she stated, it's more like a ghost kitchen. So it's not an actual, you know, sit down restaurant. It's a catering company. You can, um, you know, get orders from them. Also, they work with, uh, you know, Grubhub and DoorDash and things like that. Y'all just make sure y'all, y'all look them up, look them up. Um, to just to be a part of something like that, y'all, I'm... I'm still excited. I'm still on cloud nine. That was a wonderful experience. But uh, yeah, y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think about the entire situation. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all listen to what Keith Lee had to say about the other restaurant. Not this one. Okay. The Sweetly Seasoned. I want y'all to hear what Keith Lee had to say about Sweetly Seasoned. I was debating if I was going to attach that to this video because this is such a beautiful video but it all ties in so yeah let, let's hear what he got to say to be honest there's not much to talk about but there are a few conflated and confused things that's going around about the situation so let's talk about them three days ago me and my family went to sweetly seasoned food truck number one nobody had any idea we was coming they found out we was in dallas like everybody else found out we was in dallas because we was posting videos in dallas so in hopes of us coming, they had t-shirts made and they was on live all day. So me and my family wasn't in cahoots with none of this. We was all under the impression that they were a team and this was a normal routine for them. The barber being there, the braider being there, family being there, a lot of people being there. This is our first time here. We are customers. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Number two, I was never under the impression that haircuts was free. Again, my family was watching the lives. We knew that he was cutting hair for $40. So when we walked up and I said, I want to get $1,000 to the barber to do free haircuts and $1,000 to the braider to braid hair, it was because in the original video, the son said it was slow due to marketing. That's marketing. God willingly, after we post the video, there will be a line out the door. If there's a line out the door and there's a barber and a braider doing hair while people are waiting, that's marketing. So again, it's in a hood. You play some music, you cutting hair, you braiding hair, y'all all sitting out, y'all having fun. It's a parking lot barbecue. So again, we don't know the behind the scenes if they knew each other, if they didn't know each other. And the reason why I didn't pay everybody individually, the interaction that you see looked longer than what it was. It was really only like a five minute interaction. 
But then at five minutes, 30 to 40 people pulled up. They was pulling up in droves. That parking lot was getting deep, fast. And for me and my family's safety in general, I don't ever carry cash around. And nine times out of 10, if we tip, we always do it through the POS system. And even if we wanted to do it a different way, Zelle and Apple Pay wasn't an option because it was four or five people at the same time on live. So for safety reasons, they wouldn't be able to say their phone numbers or their personal information out loud. And as far as them taking my phone and putting their number in on Zelle themselves, I wouldn't hand them my personal phone to nobody. So the POS system was the option that made the most sense. I've learned through this journey that sometimes it's deeper than the food, it's deeper than the marketing, it's deeper than the customer service. And this is one of those cases in my opinion. Sweetly Season got a lot to figure out and I thank God in advance that they do figure it out. The last thing I'm gonna touch on is the sun is misconstruing something that I said and I don't appreciate it. After I said out loud in detail what we deemed the money to be used towards, I also said y'all can divvy it out how y'all feel necessary. Meaning after the money hits because it's a POS system, it don't hit the same day. Y'all can send it out through Apple Pay, through Zelle, through Cash App, through Check, through Cash. However, y'all feel necessary to spread it amongst the team. I thought and I still think that that's a very clear statement. But it's being misconstrued, in my opinion, intentionally misconstrued, that I see it and the mom and the son can say who get the money and who don't get the money. <laughs> So Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. I never said that. Regardless of what was going on behind the scenes, I felt on my heart to do what we did. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt like God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. I see the memes and I see the jokes, but I am not in the business of shutting businesses down. Her actions did not sit right with y'all and her customer base. That resulted in the situation that she in today. Lee just ate the food and left a tip. I pray in advance that everybody in this situation stays safe. That's my biggest concern. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. All right, you guys. That's all the time I have. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this entire ordeal. Um, how do you feel about the food review uh, backlashing and ended up affecting another business? Um, and how do you feel about Sherelle doing her best to correct the situation? I mean, how do you feel about everything? Just let me know. And y'all also let me know, um, feel free to comment and let me know which topics you want me to discuss, because y'all know, when I discuss something, I'm going to dive deep. I'm going I'm to get the, listen, I'm going to pull up, as y'all can see, <laughs> and I want to make sure I get all the details correct. So um, I appreciate y'all so much for supporting my channel. The best way to support me is to subscribe. And um, most of y'all be showing love. Most of y'all be showing love, but y'all, I got a few haters. Every now and then I get a few haters. Really, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I really don't get haters until I share my link on Facebook. Hmm. Don't that sound suspicious? <laughs> That's why I don't be fooling with Facebook. I, I know who my audience is, and I know who my supporters are, and it's over here at YouTube. Y'all support me so much, and I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all.